Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you the difference between integrated and dedicated graphics by running 3D Mark Vantage on Extreme. Specs are i7, um, 16 gigs of RAM, 760M, and um, yeah, and a 7200 RPM hard drive. Keep in mind, this is the extreme preset, so this is like the max settings pretty much. I'm getting about 10, 15, 20 FPS. Of course, this is the extreme preset. And this is rendering using a GeForce GTX 760M. So long story short, this is the highest end one basically designed to push the hardware as far as possible. And of course, keep in mind it's running at about 30 to 20 FPS. 1080p I think. So basically not too unsurprising for the hardware. I'm going to run this test again though with the Intel GPU to show you how it runs differently. Graphics test 2 gain about 11 frames per second. So not really a high frame rate but this is with the Nvidia GPU and now it jumped up a bit but keep in mind this is this is a GTX 760M. Now I'm going to show you the, new, the Intel GPU afterwards. Now this is a laptop. Of course it's not going to be as good as a desktop GPU due to the fact that long story short, cooling issues and voltage issues and all that stuff. But as you can see, I'm getting about 20-21 FPS running this 3D Mark demo. And when this is all done, I'll show you the scores on how well this laptop fared when it was running the demo. Now keep in mind I'm running this with the extreme preset which is the one that's supposed to push the GPU and hardware the most. Of course you can even see the low frame rate just because it's that low. Like you can see the low frame rate on camera. So NVIDIA Optimus let me choose which GPU I wanted, either the integrated one or the NVIDIA one. So I chose the integrated one. I'm going to try to run one on Extreme. Long story short, I can't run the physics test, the second one, because Apparently it's buggy and crashes, but I found out online that uh, other people have the same exact problem, but anyways, I'm going to wait for this to load and show you how the same exact test runs on a NVIDIA GPU, I mean Intel GPU, the one on the motherboard or CPU built into it, not the dedicated GPU that this machine has. So, let's wait for it. Wow, look at this. It's running a lot slower. 3 FPS, 4 FPS, 9 FPS. Look how much worse the same exact benchmark is running on the Intel GPU. Just look at this. You can't make this up. 3 frames per second. While the other was running about 30 FPS at the same time, or 20 FPS, something like that, this is only running at 8 FPS, 3 FPS, 10 FPS. If this was a game, it would be unplayable, and you'd have to turn all your settings down just to play that game. And that's implying that this game isn't one of those games such as Crisis or one of those more intensive games that I mean I'm just using Crisis as an example but here's a better example something like BF4 I'm just going to assume you're not using something like BF4 as an example because if you're using BF4 that would really be hard to play on this GPU 
I mean, in fact, I actually had a friend tell me how BF4 was unoptimized because it would not run on his Intel GPU. Look how slowly this crap's running. See, if you game on an Intel GPU, this is how many games are going to look like. And this is why you should never, ever use integrated graphics. I mean, see how much faster it was on that NVIDIA GPU? Because this laptop, when it runs on a NVIDIA GPU, it runs faster. It lets me play all these games on it. And with the Intel GPU, nothing works. Really, nothing will work. And which would you rather have? A laptop that can't run many games, or a laptop, or desktop, that can actually run your games. Please, don't use integrated graphics. And look, this is the second test. Wow, 1 FPS. This was like, I think, 10, 10 to 20 FPS on the other GPU. This is 1 FPS. 0 FPS. It literally dipped down to 0 FPS. Wow. Wow. This is on Ultra, keep in mind. Just wow. The NVIDIA GPU is much better than the Intel GPU, which can't even keep up with this game. I mean, demo. But still. Look at this. This is all you need to know when you're buying a computer. And you actually want to play games on it. Don't just get the cheap $200 Walmart special with integrated graphics because this is the same exact specs. I just disabled the NVIDIA GPU for this demo. And as you can see, it's running terrible. Don't even bother because integrated graphics are terrible. That's all you need to know. The proof is in the pudding. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more because 2FPS is unplayable. And this is 2FPS. Now 5 PS. Look at this crap. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.